everyone, Unicorn1513 here, and today I am making a video about why people love reborn dolls. I have Paisley Marie here, and she's just cuddling with me, and I'm just going to talk about why I love reborns and why other people love reborns, and then I'm also going to go over some pros and cons of reborns. Why I love reborns is, is that... Number one is because they are so cuddly and so adorable and they're just really nice to hold and they actually feel like a real baby. And I think that they comfort a lot of people and that they make people feel better just like real babies do. And I know a lot of people that think this hobby is weird and that these dolls are weird and it's a weird hobby. Or why doesn't the person get a real baby? Or why doesn't the person get another hobby? And before I knew about Reborns, I thought they were kind of creepy, and I actually thought that people thought they were real, and I thought they were kind of creepy, but now I really love them. I don't think that they're creepy at all, and I really enjoy them. And a lot of people don't understand this hobby, which I really don't understand because it's just like any other hobby. It's just a hobby. It's something that brings people joy and comfort, so I don't see the problem with it. People get them for many different reasons. Some people are collectors which they just put them on the shelf and they just collect them. And then there's Reborn Mommies and Daddies and they role play with their Reborn. And then there's artists that make the Reborn. So there's three different, there's many different types of things you could be in this hobby. And I like to collect them and I also like to role play with them. And I also really like to take pictures of them. And it's a really fun thing to do. And they are a piece of art. Not one baby will be the same, and they are all painted by different artists, and not one baby will be the same, just like artwork, not one piece of artwork will be the same. And they are just gorgeous dolls, and they do help people with Alzheimer's disease. They are very therapeutic dolls, and they are very good for people with PTSD, anxiety, depression. They are good for many things because they are so therapeutic, and I really enjoy them. And they're also good for women that can't have children, or women that can't have children anymore, and they already have their own children, but they are just grown up. The good thing about these dolls is that they don't grow, they stay the same size, and they never leave that cute, cuddly baby stage, and a lot of people enjoy that. And another good thing about these dolls is that a lot of teenagers like them, and a lot of teenagers have that motherly instinct that real babies are very expensive, they are too young, they might not be able to finish high school, they might not be able to go to college, and there's lots of different reasons. Another reason that I like these dolls is that because they kind of teach you what it's like to have a real baby, but not with all the responsibility of actually having one. You can buy clothes for them, you can change them, you can role play with them and do all these types of things, but they don't cry like a real baby and they don't go to the bathroom like a real baby, but I still think it's a good teaching tool as well. And now I'm going to get into the pros and cons of Reborns. The pros are, is that they are very adorable, they are very fun to hold, they are very therapeutic, and they're very fun to collect, and once you get one, you're not going to want to stop. It's fun to be in a hobby that everyone is so nice to each other, and everyone is super nice and super supportive. And it's also really fun to buy things for them. I really enjoy buying things for them. My favorite things to buy for them are pacifiers and clothes, but that can get really addicting as well. I can't think of any more pros right now, but now I'm going to get into the cons. The cons are that they are very expensive. They can kind of become addictive a little bit. You might want a bunch of dolls, or you might want to buy a lot of stuff for them. That is a little bit of a con. And another con is a lot of people might not understand your hobby. So that is all of my pros and cons and why I love Reborns and why other people love Reborns. These are just some of my opinions and what I think. And if you think differently, and if you think differently, that's okay. That's your opinion. And I'm not going to disagree with your opinion. And I hope you guys liked this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!